We are in Albuquerque, New Mexico, of all places, with Queens of the Stone Age. And Nick, did they, uh, did they tell you what's going on here? No, they never tell me anything. Okay, we're at... Uh, they told me it was spring break, though. It's spring break. It's sort of like an alternative spring break for music lovers. Day one, we were in Pittsburgh. Then we went to Detroit to hang out with D12. Yesterday was Indianapolis with Coldplay. And today, it's you guys in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In Albuquerque. And I'm here with Joey Castillo, the drummer of Queens of the Stone Age, and, of course, the legend, Mark Lanigan. It's freaking cold here. Yeah, I can't escape it. That's how you it. passed out over here, man. I, I was, it was the break. driving. It was the driving. It was like spring, break. spring break started last night. It was, it was a lot of driving and a, uh, a lot of staying up late. But we're going to try to sober these guys up a little bit. Now, you guys are ready to go. But Josh, he's another story. He's the one that we may have to sober up. And we were talking about bum rushing his hotel room, but I'm going to leave that in your hands. So uh, we're going to think about that. Queens of the Stone Age, we're going to have more with these guys in a little bit. Queens of the Stone Age, Nick, Mark Lanigan, and Joey over there. Joey Castillo. And uh, Mark over here, I'm going to break the news to you right now. How many years ago was it? I think it was six years ago you were playing Lollapalooza, and now you return to the festival. Yep. You ready for that one? I'm not even ready for this, man. I don't <laughs> You guys got a long way to go, though, because you're playing these odd cities, then you head over to England. Oh, before that, you play with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. We do. We do, man. And, and I think it's going to be good for us um, in the States, because they, they, they got a great uh, following that's been with them for a long time. Oh, yeah. um, that kind of crowd is, is, a, is a cool crowd, because it's a very uh, uh, eclectic, diverse bunch of people. And uh, when we come back, we are going to have the Lollapalooza Challenge with the Queens of the Stone Age, and you don't want to miss that. Now it is time to take the Lollapalooza challenge with Queens of the Stone Age. Uh, here's the deal, guys. I'm going to ask you some questions. I'll let you miss one. If you miss more than one, you lose. If you miss less than one, you win. And uh, if you win, I'll uh, buy a piece of pottery or something out in town, because there's lots of that going around here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. First question, and any of you can answer, OK? Who did not perform on the first Lollapalooza? A. Nine Inch Nails, B, Alice in Chains, C, The Butthole Surfers. Alice in Chains. Mark Lanigan says Alice in Chains, and Mark, you are correct! One for one, it was Alice in Chains. They actually played it in 1993, the uh, third Lollapalooza. All right, Lollapalooza challenge continues. Question number two, you ready, Nick? Hit me. <laughs> Hit me. Which, which ice was the first to appear on Lollapalooza? A, Ice Cube. B, Ice T, C, Vanilla Ice. Joey, would you like to take this one? I'll pass it over to Peeps, because I know he knows this one. Ice T. Ice T? Yeah. Is that your final answer? It is. I think it was Body Count, or was it? it was body body count. count in the house. Ice T is correct. Two for two. Yeah. Which group brought a portable basketball ho hoop with them on tour, playing backstage games, and later pulled it out for a matchup with New York Nick forward Anthony Mason? A, the Beastie Boys. B, Pearl Jam, C, A Tribe Called Quest. I say the Beastie Boys. Never doubt a veteran of the rock and roll scene. Beastie Boys, correct. Yeah. All right, you guys did not miss one. This is the final question of the quiz. On this year's tour, who will have the most impressive naked torso? A, Chris Cornell, B, Brandon Boyd, or C, Nick Oliveri? I'm have to say Nick Oliveri. Yeah. Final answer. Nick Oliveri. You are correct, and ladies and gentlemen, Queens of the Stone Age sweeped in the Lollapalooza Challenge, and uh, I guess I'm going to head outside and buy them some pottery. So we'll be back. We are back with Queens of the Stone Age. They are celebrating spring break with us. Day four, we've just been going all over the country, and I'm just tired right now. Probably not as tired as Josh. So what is it going to be? Are we going to bum rush this hotel room? Nick, yeah. let me tell you this. Good? Let me tell you this. Every time anyone in TV history has bum-rushed a hotel room, it is made for good TV. Yeah, but the band could break up. Let's do it. You want to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's go. You think Josh will beat me up? No, he'll kick mine, no. Because I've never had, like, a problem with Josh. You have now. <laughs> <laughs> He's, I mean, he doesn't have any ladies in the hotel room or anything like that, does he? You better not. Okay, because it's like a couple hours. No good time. What? A couple I'm hours before the show. Oh yeah, you know, I don't know what he's doing. We're about. To, we're gonna find out. I'm going in, dude. 
Please let Josh not beat me up. Please let Josh not beat me up. Remember that part in Forrest Gump? Dear God, I wish I was a bird so I could fly far, far away. <laughs> Folks, we are going to bum rush Josh's hotel room. Remember, this was, this was Nick's idea. Joey. If you could protect me, Joey, <laughs> I can run fast though. Josh here? Oh, no, no, sleep. Oh. We're going to bum rush him. Is, is, can we talk to Troy? <laughs> Nick, what's going like on? gonna happen. Nick, what's going on? Uh, I see feet hanging off the bed, which means he's still passed out. Okay. Um, I mean, sleeping. He's still sleeping. Well, uh, hey guys, good luck. Good luck with the show tonight and the rest of your touring all year round. We try, brother. And uh, tomorrow we I'm head gonna... off. To California. I'm bum rushing, but I ain't gonna wake the man right. up. Right, you don't wanna wake the man up. <laughs> Tomorrow we have Newfound Glory, and then of course, we have our journey to Tony Hawk. We'll see you then.